everybody. Thanks for stopping by Smoking Steve's today. We got a good one for you today. We're gonna be cooking up some uh, uh, skinless, boneless chicken thighs on the uh, bullseye today. Uh, Rectech bullseye. I love that grill. And we're gonna be cooking with some Bear Mountain Gourmet Blend pellets. And Bear Mountain pellets are, are the best. And uh, we're gonna do it a little bit different today. Uh, Normally I don't marinate my uh, meats, but today we're gonna try a little uh, mojo. Yep, we're gonna marinate it in some mojo sauce, then season them up with some uh, uh, Dizzy Pig rub and get them ready for the grill. Now guys, uh, there's a lot of ways to cook your meats, uh, chicken breasts, chicken thighs, whole chickens, uh, whatever you wanna cook. Uh, let me know what your favorite way of cooking chicken thighs might be. Uh, you know, I, I love to see your comments and how you do things and, uh, uh, let me know where you're cooking from and all that. Uh, I love seeing your comments. So, uh, let's go ahead and get these chicken thighs, uh, uh in the marinade and, uh, we'll get this process going. Let me show you what we're going to do. Okay. We got our chicken thighs here in a little plastic Ziploc bag, and we got our mojo sauce right here. Uh, now I'm going to have a link underneath the video in the description area uh, where you can uh, check this out. If you want to pick some up, go ahead and pick that up. And uh, there's a lot of other links under there too uh, for the Bear Mountain pellets, uh, Dizzy Pig uh, uh, rubs, uh, a lot of different links in there. Some of my favorite stuff. So what we're going to do. Just open this guy up and, uh, and we're going to go with maybe half the bottle or so in this bag. That's what we're shooting for. So we'll have some left for another time. We'll go a little bit more. Okay, let's zip this uh, thing up. And what we're going to do is uh, Try to incorporate that liquid throughout the meat here by just tossing it around. Okay. And then we're going to be putting it in the fridge, uh, letting it marinate for a little bit, yeah, two, three hours or so. And then we're going to uh, pull them out, put some seasoning on there, and then get, get them cooking on the uh, Rectech Bullseye. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the fridge and uh, leave them in there for a couple of hours and we'll come back and fire up that grill. Okay, I just fired that bullseye up. Uh, it's starting to smoke right now. Uh, it's showing the grill temperature at 94 and we got it uh, set for 225. So we're gonna let this guy heat up uh, till it gets up to 225 and be putting those chicken thighs on. Okay, got that grill heating up out there. Got set 225, uh, coming in to uh, uh, get the chicken thighs ready. I got them uh, out of the bag and ready to put the seasoning on. So let's go ahead and get that done. Okay, here they are. They're really smelling good with that uh, mojo on there. Really smelling good. And here's what we're gonna be seasoning those up with. Uh, Dizzy Pig Dizzy Dust. Uh, like I say, I'm going to have a link under the video in the description section, so you can check that out if you want. Uh, Dizzy Pig has a lot of different flavors, but uh, I like this Dizzy Dust on uh, chicken and pork. So what we're going to do is put a coat on these chicken thighs. I'm going to put some on each side. Now you can pat these dry a little bit if you want, but uh, uh, I didn't this time. Uh, I want that marinade to be on there, so I'm going to pat that rub in there a little bit. Flip these guys over and do that at the other side. Uh, the beauty of uh, barbecuing is, guys, to change it up. Use a marinade. Don't use one. Just use a rub. Let's set overnight, however you want to do it. It's all good. So 
So what we're going to do uh, after that grill gets up to 225, go ahead and put these on and uh, let these guys smoke for a little bit. Okay, here they are. We got them on the smoker now. Uh, it's up to 225. So we're just going to close the lid and let them smoke for about an hour or so. And then we'll be cranking that temperature up. Okay, got them chicken thighs on. They're smoking away out there at uh, 225. So we're going to let those guys smoke a little bit. Uh, just wanted to let you know uh, we invited a guest over for lunch today. Her name is Allie, and uh, I hope she can make it. Uh, oh, look, here she comes now, coming down the road. Uh-huh, Allie Gator. Yeah, that's right, Allie Gator. You never know what you're gonna see around here, right? Oh, my. Well, well, I'm not so sure she's gonna make it all the way. Looks like she's stomping off in this pond here for a swim. Yeah, maybe she'll stop by a little later. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay, let's let that thing smoke and uh, get to cooking. Okay, we're just sitting out back here relaxing while this uh, bullseye smokes away at 225. We're here in Venice, Florida and the weather is gorgeous. Natural preserve out back here. We've just been here a couple months now and uh, we're just loving the Venice area. We're only 20, 25 minutes for sev from uh, several different b beaches and uh, we just love it here. So let's just kick back and let this guy smoke away and uh, we'll check on here in a little bit. Okay, these chicken thighs have been smoking away for about an hour and the uh, temperature of the chicken thighs is 122 degrees so uh, we're going to take a peek at them see what they look like okay they're coming along but uh, they're not nearly done yet so uh, we're going to go ahead and crank that temperature up to uh, 350 and uh, try to brown those uh, chicken thighs up a little bit so uh, we can go to temperature display and we're at set point 225 so it's that easy to set it up to 350 and we'll go back and hit uh, time display and that's our meat temperature 122 degrees So we'll let these guys finish up, get up to 165, and then we'll be taking them inside and be doing a taste test. Okay, these guys are done. Up to temperature, let's take a look. Oh yeah, looking good. We're gonna go ahead and get these uh, pulled inside. Let them rest for a couple minutes and be doing a taste test. Okay, got them pulled inside here. They're looking awesome, smelling good. Look at these babies. I'm gonna get me a little bite. Okay, got me a little bite right here. Check it out. Man, that's really smelling good. I'm loving it. We're going in. Mm -hmm. Nice and tender, juicy. That dizzy dust, dizzy pig grub. This tastes good. Smoke coming from those pellets. That mojo sauce. They're really good. I'm liking these. Guys, no matter how you cook them up, 